Hey everyone, I'm back and for today's video, I decided to do a sloppy smoky eye tutorial slash my updated makeup routine, everyday makeup routine. Why? Because I just have been doing sloppy smoky eye lately as my everyday look. And yeah, if you guys want to know how I achieve the entire sloppy smoky eye look, just please keep on watching. Oh, by the way, I did my eyebrows already. I just applied the... LA Girl Slim Shady Brow Pencil in the color Brunette along with the... what is it? Um, Essence Clear Brow Gel and I... that's just my brow look. Why? Because I want to achieve more of like a natural bushy brow look but still like it's a defined eyebrows but natural if you guys know what I mean. But yeah, here's how it looks like, and yeah, that's my eyebrows, and anyway, let's just jump into the makeup. First thing that I wanted to show you guys how are my eyes, because the eye is sort of the focus point of this entire look, so yeah. So I've primed my eyes already with the NARS Pro Prime eyeshadow primer. I sometimes prime my eyes, I, some, I sometimes don't, but whenever I feel like I want to prime my eyes, I prime my eyes. But yeah, I prime my eyes with the NARS eyeshadow primer. As for eyeshadows, I usually use either three of these. The, these are the Australis Metalix eyeshadows. I love, 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 love this particular eyeshadow. Formula-wise and color-wise, they are amazing. I have two colors right here with me. I have the color Lana Del Grey and Plum Diddy. I also sometimes use the Urban Decay Glitter Rock eyeshadow, Moon Dust eyeshadow. I love this stuff. It's like a pinky purplish color. But you won't achieve a smoky eye with this, so yeah. I am just going to be using either of this. Which one should I use? I'm feeling Plum Diddy. I love this color. So this is the color Plum Diddy. It's just a bronze, a deep bronze color, deep bronze dark, a deep dark bronze chocolate color. Look at that. The formula of these Australis Metallic eyeshadows are amazing. I am obsessed with them. And then to apply this eyeshadow, I'm going to be using a flat shader brush like this. And I'm going to be taking it with a brush and just apply it heavily onto my entire eyelids. Seriously you guys, this tutorial is so easy, but I love this entire look, so yeah. I sometimes didn't even use a brush to create this look, I just used my fingers and blended everywhere. Seriously, it's, it's that simple. But for <laughs> this particular tutorial, I decided to use a brush. And then, I'm just going to be taking a brush like this blending brush and just and, and then just blend it all over just like that and then I also blend it towards the lower lash line to make the look looked put together And that's it. Seriously, it's that simple. And then I'm just going to apply the same step, same eyeshadow onto my other eye. Seriously, this particular look is so easy. That's why I use it as my everyday look. This is my current everyday look. So easy. If I don't have the blending brush with me, I just use the upper side of the flat shader brush and just blend it towards my lower lash line like that. Yeah. Yeah, 
that's it. Sometimes I leave it like this and just apply mascara, but for today, I decided to apply the inner corner highlight. And for the inner corner, I will be applying this Tuchel for School Glam Rock Metalized Eyeshadow. And I have the color number one, Warm Iron. It just... It's just this champagne-y, taupey shade that is lighter than the actual color that I use and I just apply it like that. This look is so easy, you guys. That's why I called it a sloppy smoky eye. It looks effortless, but it looks like you have something on. Not you have something on, but it looks like you tried at the same time. So yeah, that's the inner corner highlight. I'm gonna blend everything out again. Sometimes I take a Q-tip and just clean up the lower lash line to make it to make the edges a little bit more crisp. But for today, I decided not to because I want to make the content sloppy. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara next. This is how I curl my lashes, you guys. I start from the bottom and I curl the middle part of the eyelashes and then I curl the tip so I've curled my lashes already and I'm just going to apply some mascara and the mascara that I'm going to be using is this Jordan Abbas Lash Extreme just open this mascara and I'm trying this out so yeah, I'm not sure if I like it a lot or not but so far, so good By the way, this look is a look that I'm wearing on my last Instagram picture. So many of you guys were wondering. Danny keeps saying that I look grungy. But yeah, I feel like it does look grungy, but grungy in the, in the modern way. Grun it looks grungy, but it's grungy in a modern way. Mascara for me takes the longest to do because I love Vavavoon type of lashes and I just feel like I have to build my mascara up to get it to the look that, that I'd like to have. So yeah. That's the entire eye look. Sometimes I leave the look to be like this, but sometimes I wipe the entire lash, not lash, I wipe the entire mascara stain down on my lower lash line because I sometimes want my eyes to look, I don't know, a little bit more crisp, not too smoky. This is a type when I go all out smoky but sometimes I wipe the things, the mascara stain down there, but for today, I decided to leave, leave it to be like this. And yeah, the eyes are done, and let's just jump into the face. Whoop. So for the face, I am gonna be applying the primer first. The primer that I'm gonna be using is this Benefit Professional Primer. I've been using this for ages. It was just my go-to. I, I sometimes only apply this onto my T-zone because that's the part where I get the most. Yeah, I just blend it with my fingers and pressed. And I make sure to press the primer onto my nose because I feel like that's a trick that's doing the job to keep oiliness at bay so as for foundation slash BB cream I sometimes use the L'Oreal Mad Magic BB essence I love this stuff this is a light coverage foundation not foundation I think it's a BB cream and it has SPF what SPF it has SPF 50 pay plus 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 
in this particular BB cream. But nowadays, I'd like to go with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. But my trick with this is that I don't use it heavily, if you know what I mean. This is a this is a full-on heavy-duty foundation, but at the same time, I don't like to use it very full coverage, if you know what I mean. So the trick that I do with this foundation is that you have to shake well with this foundation first because it has this type of pump that don't even have a straw. A straw? Like, you know what I mean? A straw for the actual pump. It has this air pump type of thing, type of pump. And for this pump to work, you have to shake the foundation and it just distributes the foundation itself into the pump so that it pumps the foundation. That's how it works. So yeah, my trick with this, so that I don't have an so that I don't have a heavy duty full coverage on is that I apply a small bit onto my hand just like this and I take my buffing brush I make sure to take a buffing brush and I buff the foundation onto the brush on my hand first and then I just apply the foundation onto my face and make sure to buff the foundation in Well, it does gives my it does well it does give my skin a coverage. Pretty much buffed it everywhere. Then whenever I want to have more, I still have it on my head. I've been using this technique for the past a week or two. A week I guess. But I've been loving it since. The reason why I've been using this foundation is that because it's so humid outside, it's summer, it's always summer in Jakarta, but seriously, like it's so humid nowadays because it gets hotter and hotter every day. And the reason why I use this foundation is mainly because it's, it says, it claims that it's waterproof. I hope that it is waterproof though, I haven't like dunked my face into a bowl of water or something. But this foundation basically stays on pretty long, I mean long term, seriously. I feel like this side has more coverage than this side, but I like it more on this side. Just buffed everything, make sure that I blend everything out. That's it for the foundation. Next is I will apply my liquid highlight and the liquid highlight that I've been using is the old school Benefit High Beam. I've been using this again and I don't know why I've been loving this particular highlight color recently. It's nothing golden or anything but I just like how it looks on my face. It makes the glow even look more natural. But it makes you glow from within if you know what I mean. See? Oh my god. It's been so long since I last used this Benefit High Beam liquid highlight. But I rediscovered this product again about three weeks ago four weeks ago. I don't know, I don't remember, but seriously, I've been loving it again ever since. I used to not, I used to didn't really like this particular product, but wow, blew my mind. I've been looking all over for a dupe for, for this particular highlight. Any of you guys know, what's the dupe for the Benefit High Beam? Leave it in the comments down below. Oh my god. Love it. Oh, I love it. OK, 
Okay, so that's it for highlight. Sometimes I use a blush, but I am not a blush person personally. But whenever I use blush, I will use this Emina Cream Blush Cheek Lit. This one right here, it's a cream blush. Let me show you. It smells really good at some point. Let me show you guys how it looks. It goes on white, but as you blend it, it will... Why does it not show up in camera? But as you blend it, it will look peachier. I don't know why it doesn't look peach in the camera, but actually, whenever I have it on my cheeks, it looks peach. Promise you. But yeah, whenever I use blush, I use this. And I feel like it's a really good, affordable blush. It's a really good, affordable blush. And yeah, I bought it for about 35,000, if I'm not mistaken. 35,000 Indonesian rupiah. Seriously, this thing looks so good. It looks so natural. And that is basically why I like it so much because I'm not a blush person. And it looks so natural. So, yeah. So, the next step is powder. And for powder, I usually use my Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blood Powder. But I cannot seem to find that particular powder anywhere. And. So, for today, I'm just going to use my trusty Wicon Cypria powder. It's a loose powder. Sometimes I pressed it in with a beauty blender, but for today, I decided to just buff it in with a contour brush. This is the Sephora Pro Contour number 74. The areas that I particularly set are my nose. I'm just gonna press it in like that. My under eyes. And basically my T zone. But actually, sometimes I don't really set my face when I use this Urban Decay foundation. I don't even know why. Okay, so that's the powder. And then next step is bronzer. For bronzer, I will use my favorite bronzer ever. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this bronzer. My favorite bronzer ever. I use this in bajillionth of my videos already. And I have really ran out of this. I use this literally every day. And I use the color of bronzer. This is the darker shade that they have. I hope that they bring more shades though to their life because seriously, their bronzers, particularly this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, their butter bronzer is so good. It's so, I don't know, it's so blendable and it's so buttery, just like the name. You will not look muddy with this bronzer, seriously. So that's my face. Whenever I want to have more highlight, I will be found using the Sleek Solstice Highlighter Palette. This has become my favorite highlighter ever so far. And the highlighter that I use or regularly or usually, and the particular highlighter that I use are usually these two, which is this one is the yellowish type of color and as for this one it's a little bit more blinding than this one so I rarely use this for every day but whenever I want to look glowy AF I will use this one but for today I'm just going to be using this one this lighter yellow shade it looks so good oh my god yeah, that's my highlight. Oh, I love this one. And last up are my lips. 
So, for my lips, I have been only using this particular product for these past two or three months already. Since I use this particular product, seriously, I haven't really been into any of my lipsticks. Whether it's liquid lipstick or regular lipstick or even lip liners, I haven't been using them. This is the only product that I've been using for these past two or three months. I am obsessed with it. And it's the Dior Lip Glow in number one, pink. Worth every penny. Seriously, best splurge on any of my splurgy items ever. Love this. It's so moisturizing, but it doesn't feel like you have lip balm on. And it smells really good. It gives you a tint. I know I feel like it's a very simple product. I know I know that many of you guys will think that it's a very simple product that you can basically find on any other high street or drugstore or, or everything, seriously. But worth every penny. Seriously, it smells so good. And it's a balm, I have to say, but it's different from any balm that I have. Seriously, it's different from every single balm that I have. And I have heaps of lip balms, I have to say. And just properly apply it out onto my lips. And yeah, that's basically it for my everyday look. But whatever. This is a look that I do whenever I have the time to do. But it doesn't really take that much of time as when I do a little bit more glammy look. But love, love, love this look. Anyway, this is my everyday makeup routine slash my um, sloppy smoke hair routine. Let's call this a sloppy smoke hair routine. Anyway, this is the entire look done and I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video then. I am so sorry that I've been MIA. But yeah. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you guys have any comments down below, just leave it down below. Seriously, feel free to comment. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video then. Bye-bye.